it's hot. Here I am, and I'm all by myself. Usually we start with Chaz, but he's not here yet because he's late. And there's a dog barking outside, but it's not Shaq. Shaq is sitting just over there. We started on time, even though I was watching a football game, which ended up in my favor. Yeah. Brady almost came back, but he didn't. <laughs> Finally! All right, so here we are, and uh, I'm bringing in Shan now because we got a lot to tell you, and that's why we're that's why we're doing this special impromptu last second show. There's Shannon. Now you were looking at me. Now we got a little beauty here, and she's got uh, she's got my merch on, which makes her even more beautiful. But we have some show changes, huh? Some uh, three new uh, three new dates have moved, and they're not up on the website yet. But you can check the website anytime to see these updates. Let them know. That's right. So, you know, usually in the chats and everything, everybody's like, hey, what's going on? You follow the social media channels. And of course, we always say just go to JeremyHots.com because that's where it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And you said something really important to me because I said, well, you're not doing Thunder Bay, but mm -hmm. Thunder Bay was actually rescheduled to June 3rd. So, See? so it's not on the website because I haven't right. put it on the website for June 3rd because I haven't found out until now. And now I will put it on the website. So I'm just saying when you're buying tickets for Thunder Bay now, know that it'll be on June 3rd. And that's a confirmed date we're coming Right. So like you told me that even if they still see the old date on the website, the ticket purchase is still live. So it doesn't See, matter. You're exactly it will honor. the same in the same yeah. theater. If you have those seats, you still have those seats. So don't get rid of your tickets. That would be, then you're starting again. Yeah, for sure. You're and starting. then, um, man, you like, gosh, I don't know how you do it. So you're going to be like Thunder Bay, June 3rd. And then the fourth, you got to fly to um, Saskatoon, like another yeah. province. It's another province, but I believe Air Canada goes there. At least they used to. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore, but I think they do. They go there. I think they have to fill up it so far. Right. And then June 5th, you're going to June Kamloops. 5th. Kamloops. Okay. Yeah, all that makes perfect sense. Right after Saskatoon, I go to British Columbia. <laughs> yeah. See, that, thanks, COVID, for like usually, usually my tour is all over the place and it's a little haphazard, but this time it's insane. This is like, uh, you know, I mean, I think they just threw in Cleveland just to piss me off. <laughs> it's not even, it's not even what are you do it. I feel like that. it's kind of like the Mario and Luigi cart, how you're kind of like this, like oh, 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 oh. I think, oh. I think, hang on. I think Chaz is here. Oh, good. Okay. Good, good, good. Oh, look. Hey, Chaz. Nice to see you stop. Hi, Here's Chaz. He came in to say hi. Ah. Look at that. You eh? said four o'clock, right? Yeah, I said four. Right. It's three after. Come here, Shaq. Come here, buddy. I'll let you. Are we doing this? But are we doing the new serious show, though? Yeah, we're doing a new serious show. Is we that what we're doing now? No, because not... that one came on at seven thirty. I thought. Yeah, that one comes on at seven thirty, but th this one comes on at seven o'clock. We're not doing the radio until next month. But Chaz is catching up now, and right. we're live and right now. By the way, not out of the bag that we have like a new show. We did. So what happened was because of all yes, these changes, this is Shackleton, the Wonder Dog, incidentally. Here he is. He doesn't like Hi, Shaq. Shaq. So he always barks at him when he comes in. And that's that's Chaz, who doesn't like Shaq. So everything is okay. Baldy. <laughs> Baldy. He calls him Baldy. Baldy. I don't know why he calls him Baldy. Because you shaved him. I, I didn't summertime. shave him. The lady shaved him. I didn't. I, I and he swore. wonders why Shaq doesn't like him. Let, let me tell you, they shaved the dog. They gave him, like, a, the, you know, the clippers. And I said, no, just use scissors. And he came out, he looked like another dog. So I was so angry. I demanded my money back and then I threw it at them. That's the only reason I wanted the money was to throw it at the guy that did the haircut poorly. That was it. See, passive aggressive. There you so go. what are you, what are you going to do when you pay with your debit card? Whip your debit card at him? Like, <laughs> I, no, never not stuff I never thought of that. I never thought of Luckily I paid with cash. I'm the last <laughs> guy that pays with cash. I, have a, I actually have legitimate no, money. None of this. Bitcoin nonsense. Anyway, listen, uh, tell us about the radio show, Chaz, because I told you all about it. Uh, here's what happened. The, the situation is that I, I'm now, because we're not doing stand-up on those dates, what we're doing is uh, I'm, I'm going to do a bit of, uh, 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 well, I'm going to do a weekly radio show on Sirius XM called The Hilarious House of Hots. It's basically this show uh, with, you know, the same Chaz and Shan, and they bought it. <laughs> so we're gonna do it for a little while. So uh, tune into that uh, if, if you can. What else can I say about it to make it sound better, Chaz? It's gonna be funny. Okay, yeah, there's that. There's it's that. Be funny. It'll be funny, and it's on a credible network. It's on a legitimate so station. If yeah. you tune in and you don't like it, you know they're gonna fire us. 
So you don't have to worry. You're all safe. It's serious. Yeah. Uh, if I got my own TV show, says Mark Young, then I won't really have a lot of time to go to, to, to do stand up. You know, there's a there's two things. Like I like the stand up. Don't you look Chaz is a stand up and an actor. So That's he's true. the guy to talk to about this more than me yeah. because he he actually goes to auditions and then they say no and he gets all pissed off. He's like well, a real actor. I don't you actually know? get pissed off anymore. I just walk out and go, they're lost. You see? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> Same thing like I do with my dates. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. Which are like auditions for you. They are. <laughs> my God, you know. But the mask has been helping. <laughs> yes. Not the actual mask, the movie. You play it for them and they think you're Jim Carrey. Oh, no, they don't. <laughs> no, they know I'm not Jim no. Carrey. He has a much higher TV queue. That's Dave. He's going to paint our back wall. Sometimes we just show his picture because we're really impressed with Dave. Actually, that's actually Dave's animated picture of no, himself. That's, that's you should Dave. see the real Dave. No, that's the no. real Dave. And Dave is like, uh, he's got a very red face because Dave has extremely high blood pressure. <laughs> I'm guessing. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh, I thought he has that thing when you drink and your skin turns red. Oh, when your nose gets all huge yeah. with the veins in it? Yeah. What's that called again? Jimmy Durante disease? Oh, yeah. I was going to say called? I was gonna say Jerry Orbach disease. Okay, same thing. <laughs> I just went I went back to the original guy from ah, like, shut, shut, shut. Look at who's look at who's here. He's all happy. He's got his mask off. He almost was here on time. Yeah. You know? Oh, Heather Ross says, like W.C. Fields. That was the guy I was thinking. No, Jimmy Durant. No, was w the song. But, but Heather is right. I'm not going to. W.C. Fields and Mae West used to drink like crazy at the Cafe Continental at Paramount Studios when I was a guard there. He used to be a guard at Paramount Studios and then he weaseled his way in and got a job on a soap opera, but they fired him after the first week because he hadn't learned how to act yet. <laughs> <laughs> Again, with the falsities. <laughs> Do I just go, yeah, that's right? Or do I actually tell the story? <laughs> All right, tell your bullshit story, but mine's better. Yes, clearly. <laughs> yeah, but when I was at Paramount, I actually saw W.C. Fields' ghost drinking. That's so weird. What True. do you mean? You're so crazy. True. You're, now, explain to me about the drinking thing. Like, I don't know about this, but is it true? So if you drink too much... The, do the, the 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 blood vessels in your nose explode? Yeah, is that you, what happens? Like, what happens? You get like a bulbous nose. Yeah, but it's like it grows out of the nose, and, yeah. and then it turns completely red and stuff. Yeah, I don't it's, know what that's it's from. It's from alcohol. Yeah, apparently. Jesus. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, but that's like not people who have wine with dinner. That's like guys who have cocktails at lunch. You mean the guy with the giant stomach that can't go in the revolving exactly. door? Exactly. I, I love that guy. He will just go have a whiskey instead. <laughs> I think they hire him to clean the revolving doors. They put him in a terry cloth suit push. and then put him push. in the thing. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. See, that's not a fat joke. That's a guy who drinks too much with a bulbous stomach joke. Right. It's an alcoholic joke. So it's okay. So there, yeah. See what you do there? Yeah. You see what you see? You that? We also have new uh, merch that Shannon didn't tell you about. Someone's going to win some merch today. Right, Shannon? Are you there? Hi. She I'm here. Not. You see, look what we got. We got the new, the official uh, Jeremy Hotz uh, 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 mask. Mask. <laughs> Which on this point looks like a feminine protection pad. Look at it. It does. It looks like one of those pads. The always. Uh, see, I always say it looks like those those like European thong bikinis. Oh and yeah, it, that's better. European thong bikini. They wear them here too, you know. Oh, do they? Oh, yeah, they okay. do. So they these do. are really awesome. So we've got these. How long they're like got, silk, eh? You can see that they're made out of like silk, right? These are not garbage. Uh, I mean, it's not silk, but it's like a reasonable facsimile that. thereof. Yeah. And what's really it's great satin? as well. Pardon? Are they, are they made out of satin? No, they're, well, they I mean, they what still have they? to be effective, right? So that's why they have the little pockets so they can put the N95 filter. That's right. And when you or, put that, when you put the N95 filter in there and somebody farts, you can no longer smell right. it through the mask. Got it. That's so, how you know it's working. I wish that was true. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Um, so we have, so we have these cups as well. You guys have seen I these in the show. True, she says. We've got. I wish wouldn't lie consistently. <laughs> Do you see? Do you see how I'm just trying to glide through that? I, I swear to God, my like my, my ex-husband. Like my girlfriends—they just ignore me and pretend oh I God. never said it. 
That's it. And my, <laughs> my, and my ex-husband would think that it was just so funny. And it was like the least funniest thing in the world. And then he would just get the blanket and go over top and go. <laughs> like, oh, he, 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 what do you mean? He, he Dutch ovened you? Oh, is that what it's called? Oh, that's there's a phrase. It's called, it's called the Dutch oven yeah. because the I don't know. But, but it, and that's there's why a reason why he's my food. ex, Jeremy. It's also how they make that bread. <laughs> they make the same know. bread. That's how they cook it in yeah. a fart oven. Listen to Chad. Oh, yeah, he will lie too. Okay. Well, anyway, th there's a reason why he's my ex and you didn't like him. So it's all good. I didn't so like your ex. So, uh, I didn't like your ex, especially the day he hit on me. That was weird. That's got to get <laughs> God, I love you. See, see what I do? I, 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 I figure out your relationships for you later. Anyway, here's the thing: we got these masks. Yes. So, someone following me on Instagram wins this, right? Today. Yeah. So, what How we're we going to do? We, you know, so you know, Facebook, Instagram. You know, we really we have like a really great partnership uh, for your marketing team. So, what we're going to be doing is is focusing on. You know, we took a, Facebook. It was great for. It's still great. You're still going to be there. We started with one me. We've got it up like multiple multiple people. But now it's time for Instagram it's because you know what? So you got to follow us on Instagram. As that's as where you, that's yeah. where your team is like Instagram, Instagram. So what you got to do, everybody, is you got to follow him on Instagram. And then we're going to put you in the fandomizer. Okay. And, and then the these names that are following me on Instagram, they yeah. can win it. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, you cannot win the mask. We can right. check. So these are, these are a $30 value uh, plus shipping. This is what they're going to be uh, selling for online. They're going to be free. One free one person is going to win if you follow him on Instagram. Uh, you know, you we can go, we can post the uh, the little QR codes or whatever, but just it's Jeremy Hots. There's only one of them. Go to him on Instagram. <laughs> Thank God. 30 bucks. <laughs> Thank God. There's only yes. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. My yes, yes. Follow him yeah, on Instagram and I'll come back after the you're, show. You're charging them American money. Yes. We're yeah. still working with Monopoly money here. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. It has Canada. That's right. Yeah, so this mask is like, we're going to be, uh, this is a hundred loonies. Yeah, a hundred loonies. <laughs> hundred loonies. Anyway, but you know what? Oh. The beauty of it is because we made them in Canada, they're simply better quality. They're going to last forever. <laughs> These aren't going to be, you know, the cheap ones that the other other guys sell that are like simply paper, but it's just that yeah. other paper that's a little stronger. So you think it's cloth? Nah, nah. We use actual, I think it's satin. What is it? I don't know. Mine are good. Mine are like this, except mine have the, uh, a full layer in it the one but these are good you put the n95 thing in That's there you, you just have to let them know that the mask is actually not effective when they buy it they have to get the, do you sell it with the filter it doesn't come with the filter ah well it's then not. you see that's how you get them you got to sell the hots filter for an extra 595 no you fucking <laughs> don't okay. so, i'm just going to speak to some of the fans who are commenting i know sorry right. Sorry to interrupt. I'm just going to say to some of the fans that don't have Instagram, don't feel left out. Um, you know, we'll, we're going to do a contest as well for you on, uh, for on sure yeah. for fans okay. on Facebook. You're not yeah. left out. And if you're sure. already following him on Instagram, do us a favor and do hashtag Jeremy Hot's mask. Okay. Ooh. Do hashtag Jeremy Hot's mask. What does that do Shannon? Well, and then what? Yeah, I don't even know. Do. I just asked her. Fandomizer. Like, I don't know. That'll put well, in the oh, that puts the him in the fandomizer. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. the team and I then, because there's no point in following and unfollowing and all that stuff. Just do, just post a picture that you're online with us for the show. Do a hashtag, win the mask, or say you say you want to win the mask. Do a hashtag, Jeremy Hot's okay. ma Hot's mask, and go. then the team and I will go in, and then we'll enter you into the fandomizer, and then I'll come back at the end of the show, actually in a few minutes, because I think you just kind of wanted to do a to do a, a short, short run today. today. So you're gonna so. you're gonna go throw them in right now, and then get a name. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I'm just gonna be back here doing some hot girl shit. Look, I can't talk now. What is this? I'm doing hot girl shit. I mean, she's having a pillow fight with herself. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go so we can be on schedule. In a teddy. Right. Do we have, with the windows open, do we have any guests? Let's get to our guests. I love when the pillow fight between the two women wearing the teddies turns suspiciously violent. Right? Like, yeah, I like when it gets really, yeah. like, that hurt, you hit me too hard, and then they actually have a fight. It knocked like Belushi them. off a ladder. Boom. Okay, I have I have a truth story Lord. time. That actually, wasn't, that wasn't the wind. We gotta move on. We got guests, right? Oh yeah, we yeah. got. We got uh, it's true. We gotta talk about. We gotta yeah. talk. I gotta talk to Susan because we gotta talk about the gig that we did do. Quick, quick story. Well, I'm yes. actually a license. I'm actually a certified boxer, so I have to be really careful. I could actually get in trouble. 
Very good. If it was if it was to go into a fight. Anyway, mm-hmm. Shannon out. Let's go Are to you season. Okay. Boxer? I am. Really? Well, I wear certified boxers. So we should get together. <laughs> I'm okay. going to be certified right. horse boxer. All right, let's move on. I'll see you after okay. the show. I'm going to call. Uh, can you get Susan on the phone for me, Shan? Before okay, she's gone. I wanted to call Susan up because Susan. Uh, uh, I'm going to call her right now because Susan was on the gig with me, right? And uh, we had some issues. I wanted to tell the people about. So Susan's coming. Oh, yeah, here she, she comes. There she is. Hi, Sue. How are you? Now we're good. Look at her on the phone. There she is. Now, now you're on the thing. Oh, you've got, got one there. mask right there. Yeah. Yeah, I was, actually, very, I was actually just posting a picture. What are they made out of? Um, like they're higher quality, right? You see yeah, what I'm saying? Like they don't like, like the mass. That's people. That's what Chaz doesn't understand. Like These are like it's, it's like, like a satin. satin. Yeah, yeah, it's like a soft thing on your face. Right, you know? it doesn't like, wrinkle, which makes it even better. It doesn't what? It doesn't wrinkle. No, my face takes care of that. <laughs> <laughs> so Woo! Um, Tell them about the gig we did. It was surreal. We went to Sherwood Park. It was the only a great Sherwood Park in uh, Alberta. It was north of Edmonton. It was the only uh, uh, gig that went on time where the, where the theater, because, okay, I'll tell you why that happened. There was a there was a knock on the theaters. Like if you had more than 500 people, you couldn't do a show, right? So we lost a lot of theaters that way. But this mm-hmm. theater only holds 470. So it was under the 500. So we still wire. Yeah, we got under the wire. So we come out there to do the one show, but then it turns into the weirdest gig. Tell them. I mean, my God. Well, the, your flight was delayed. My flight yeah. was delayed. So we didn't even get picked up at the same time to start. And then my I flight was delayed because they found gunpowder on my hands. I'm carrying the dog through. Oh, and man. They, you know, they take the swabby and then they go, oh, there's gunpowder on your hands. Oh, did and you I'm go like, shooting before the flight? No, but I'm a Canadian. <laughs> I, I don't I don't even have a gun. You're not I'm allowed to have guns. He, and then he, he said, a- well, maybe, maybe it rubbed off the dog. And I'm like, he doesn't have a gun either. Like, what no. a stupid thing to say. Like, he doesn't what have a possible thumb. Anyway, then we went through all my stuff, swabbing it with that little piece of tape on that stick, right. which took about two hours almost. And I stood there like an asshole in my socks. It was terrible. That was terrible. Well, what happened to you? <laughs> I, well, I'm hearing impaired, so they I had a hell of a time getting through the airport. It was not, it was, I felt like a hostage situation. I'm like, this is insane. So I finally get to the hotel. I'm not even there 20 minutes and I'm getting a phone call from you that you were going for your COVID test because we had to go home the next day. You were flying home. I was flying home. I needed a COVID test. Yeah. And then like 20 minutes later, I hop out of the shower and a phone call from you. I'm like, oh my God, Jeremy's crying. He's like, I've got COVID. It's positive. And I'm like, what? (laughs) Panic. I'm like, we've got one show and this gets fucked up. Like what is happening right now? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We have one show. And then right at the very end, like all I could see was like a, a whole bunch of people sitting in an empty theater with scowls on their scowls faces. Scowls and like a couple there? of them crying. Like, I can't believe this happened. Like I could just see their hearts breaking. Like, and then you're on the, I was like, Oh my God. So I quickly called Jody and I'm like, I'm in like mom mode. Literally. That's I'm like, my man man. All, all the, all the people that take care of my career other than Chaz are women. And so that because of yep. that motherly thing, because I can't do like tell them how I was. I was oh, he was crumpled like a piece of paper, crying I like a was, baby. I couldn't help because I was no. busy arguing with God. Well, that's what you yeah. yeah. test at a deli. I did. I went and I got it at Shitty Shoppers Drug Mart where the guy <laughs> never the again drinks, but never. Long does the test, and of course it came back positive. So Sue drove me all the way across the city in a in an Uber, all the way across the city to a legitimate lab with nurses and doctors who did it properly. And then it, I it was there. weird, but it was weird pulling up to that place because I was like, "Is this where we're going to go and die?" Because it was like a rented space, and only you were allowed in. I had to wait outside in minus forty five. You walk inside this little cubicle and then they come out of the door, but they avoid you. And then when they give you the shot, they stand really far away. It's like yeah. they almost throw it at you like a dart. It was horrible. Well, then you go in and it was like you felt judged. As soon as you walked in, you're like, oh, you're here for a COVID test. You must have it. Well, 
I, I, you know, according to Shoppers Drug Mart, I did, but now Shoppers yeah. Drug Mart, now we're all, everybody's just going to write about how shitty Shoppers Drug Mart is because they almost called the entire show off. That was it very was, I was, It was their app. It was their, they were like, well, they were just so dismissive. And I'm like, well, you have COVID. So, and you're like, I'm from out of town. They're like, and yeah, we like, well, give me another test. And they go, no, that's not our yeah, policy. And I said, well, problem. my policy is to go to another lab and then charge you the 40 bucks for your bogus test and whatever I pay over there for the right one. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah. They so were there. And remember the girl in the bar afterwards? Oh my yeah. god. The show was great. The people were fantastic. That's the only good thing oh, about that was the, so much fun. the show was fantastic. But everything else, the girl in the bar, this doesn't happen to me. That was it was horrible. weird. She kept I tried cock blocking and she just kept staring at you. Like she didn't break her concentration. Like it was creepy. Like, do you remember Miller? When we left the bar. Ugh. Sue looked over her shoulder to make sure the girl wasn't following. She that, watched. She was watching. She that, reminded me of that Ferris Bueller, the girl in the bus with the gummy bear. So now, now what, let's we gotta go. I wanted I wanted you to check in and say hi to everybody and thank Susan hey. for me and all the people that saw her do that. She was great that night, and I was really happy uh, uh, that she was able to do that, and we were able to pull off the show, even though everyone in the world was against it happening. My mm -hmm. God, but we did it and we're, we're, we're coming and Susan, she'll be coming on the rest of the tour. So you take care and we'll see you soon. Hey, when we pick yeah, up, yeah. And you'll be on the radio show, show too on Sirius XM, which is uh, us coming next month. Sounds great. I'll talk to you guys okay. later. Good luck with the rest of the show. Bye, Susan. Bye, Chad. Bye, bye. Okay, right. Shanda, we got the winner here. Wait, we need Dave. Is Dave not here? Dave's not coming in oh, today. Dave's not here. We don't need Dave. All Dave's going to do is paint the back wall, all and right. we show his face from time to time because he hasn't done it yet. So That's all. So Tommy Chong, Dave's not here. Dave's not here. Dave's not here. Dave's not here. Dave's so let's get here. the winner and get the football on. That's it. That's what we're doing. Okay, who who won who won the mask? Okay, so putting it in the fandomizer, I'm just going to say congratulations to Connie. Cowling. Connie Cowling. Yay, Connie, Connie Cowling. Cowling. Al, I Crazy drove OJ Cowling. What's that his name? Al Cowling. What's that his name? Yeah. Look at this. There it is. There it is. Okay. Not this one, though. If yours comes in a handsome carrying case. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not me. Which you okay. can also fold up and use as the filter inside the mask. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm such a liar. I am. I just have some official guys. stuff just for security reasons. So we will be asking for your personal information strictly through the official Jeremy Hotz Facebook. And then we're going to give it to Chaz, Insta and he's Instagram. never going to leave you alone. Selling it. We're selling it. We're selling it. <laughs> So it's coming from Shan. It's only coming from Shannon. I'm not going to tell you which account that will be coming from. So just for your security, we're just going to let you know. Uh, watch for that. Congratulations to all our winners. And don't worry, uh, Jeremy wants us to come back. And I have a really good idea. Yeah. Everybody loves dogs, right? Or they're Everybody pets. loves dogs, especially on this show. Except Chaz. Chaz hates you. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Can, can, we, <laughs> can we do a contest so uh everybody posts their their fav their beloved pet on their instagram and make sure that they follow you and they they tag you jeremy hot's contest so they follow you on instagram they post a picture of their dog and then they do the hashtag jeremy hot's contest and then can i give away all your merch you hag you're gonna give everything <laughs> away Every single thing, all like the a package, like a package. Yeah, you put it all in the big bag in the Jeremy Hotz bag, and then give him a shirt, the mask, the 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 cuppy thing. What is that anyway? The baby cup, sippy, the mug. Cup, sippy cup, the mug, sippy cup, sippy cup. the the, the bag. blog, the brazier. Give them the brazier, the, the uh, the panties, the matching bra and panties we had made, and the mask, and the mask. There it is. There it is. So you win all. You you win everything. So there we go. There you go. All right, Chad. We're we're out of here. Yes, we're, we're out of here. Chaz has okay. to go and watch the football game. I don't have to. But I want I'm to. But I, want I want to watch the game. Huh? <laughs> okay, we love you all, and and uh, keep following it. Eh? And uh, we'll see you oh. next week. We're back next week because I, I'm doing the live show weekly until we get the radio show going, and then and then the radio show. And goes. just remember, you can see Hots's tour dates. Go to JeremyHots.com. And you can see me next weekend at the San Jose Improv. Go to richchasler.com. Richchasler.com. And, make, and make sure to follow Susan as well. And Susan Thompson. Uh, she's Susan Thompson. Ha ha. I don't remember what the, what is, what's, what's her website? We don't have it. 
We'll give it to you we'll next week. We'll give it to week. you we'll next week. Take care, everybody. We love you. Bye-bye. We love you. Goodbye. Bye.